So I've got the alternator out of the 925, the tour truck, and it failed uh, really close to the beginning of the season. And it is quite apparent, uh, definitely as to to what went wrong. I guess there's a few things. First, these these carbon wipers, right, that take power out of the center and direct it to the batteries. Well, one of those carbon wipers has come out of the hole entirely. There are bits and pieces of it over there. And then whatever this is, Focus. There we go. Appears to be a big resistor of some sort. You notice the end of it's blown right out. It's not the only thing wrong with this alternator. There's something inside that has come loose. More loose. So, it's not back here, it's, uh, it's just it was the exciter, it's not the armature it spins around, right? The doohickey that makes all the pixies get excited, anyways, that's, that's come loose. Because I had read several times where folks were talking about, oh, it's an adjustable pot right there, um, failed diodes, which I, I assume is that one right there, a failed diode leading to um, early demise, and that it was impossible to scrape the elastic schmoo off that and, and just solder a new diode. So I was just curious. I, I suspect that my problems are uh, a little more serious. Got all this magic cancer dust inside. I'm sure an alternator place could probably just get Okay, this, well that round thing, which I can't seem to pick up right now, must have come out of the inside of there, because these are what appears to be just electric motor brushes. And, and it looks like that brush, why it would wear down, focus, well, whatever, why it would wear down nothing, See the light, baby. Well, why it would wear down to nothing, I don't know. But you can see the, the brush wore down to nothing. And then pooped it. There we go. So. Yeah. Any thought of a... Uh, 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 a simple repair on this is is certainly over and done for. But examining the two of them, uh, the 24 volt just 100% cheap generic Delco one wire clone that I picked up. Uh, it, it's it's mounting brackets are only about yay far apart. I think I might have ordered the wrong one. I probably could have gotten one with a case with an ear up here, but I'm just going to make a spacer, or rather. I'll probably bring it to Dad's machine shop and we'll machine shop something that looks nice and pretty rather than a chunk of water pump spacer. But I'm just going to make a spacer for it right there. And it should still mount in Bob's Your Uncle style. This is the pulley I picked up for it. And clearly got the wrong one. 
the spread, uh, it's about another eighth of an inch wider spread. Yeah, the pulley is basically wrong in every single way. So that's my own fault. Amazon put frequently bought together for military trucks. Oh, that's nice of them. Show me what pulley I needed and everything. How dare you make for me think for myself. So, hey, now I got a spare pulley I'll put on the shelf after spending whatever money for and never use. But, yeah, this thing, I I, uh, I didn't take it off because I don't want it to fall apart. But I did crack it on the shaft and uh, the shaft on this is way, way smaller than the shaft on that uh, that alternator. So I'll have to... I'll have to track down some some backspacing and do some measuring. It's nobody's fault but my own for for trusting the almighty Googles to tell me what I should want in life. But yeah, that's awesome. I mean, once I pull the belts off, I should have done it earlier. I I didn't even bother to check. You can pull the belts off, just remove your alternator, wrap the things in electrical tape, and just go. You don't need this thing in there. At least, I mean, I don't. I got that battery charger, and like we said, all LEDs. and I, 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 I could run for days, I imagine, without any problems. Uh, bummer. So anyways. I know some folks were curious about... You know, alternator failures on these things are famous. Um, apparently, if you shut them down in the wrong order, that is to say you kill... You kill the main battery switch, which is the top switch, and then shut the truck off for that moment that it's still running, but not turned off, these things can produce hundreds of volts because of either that thing or that thing. And so usually it's... My understanding usually is it's that thing that explodes burns out but that is is definitely not what happened to mine so weird again there's a there's a vehicle with 20,000 miles on it and see this kind of damage in 20,000 miles Lowest bitter disease. Oh, that's what it looks like inside. Once you've let all the unicorn dust out. <laughs>